Hello and welcome back to another video of Just For Quay. I hope you're all doing well, all keeping safe, all out of trouble. Uh, today is another grey dull day. Um, weather's not so bright again today, as we all know. Um, as you guys saw on my last previous video, um, I'd run my water tests and my ammonia was a little bit too high so i've just done a water change i'm actually waiting for the pond to fill back up i've done around 25 percent um yeah around 25 percent water change i've got around maybe 10 percent of it already filled up back in the pond so just waiting for it all to fill right back up and then we're going to take our test again and hopefully um the ammonia spike will all go back to how it should be and we can get it all back to yellow. Um, other than that, uh, I received some, well, I received my order from Absolute Koi, which put a big spine on my face. Um, everything's now finally here. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing anything much today. I just thought I'll show you guys what I've received from Absolute Koi and what I'm going to be doing to install what's arrived okay so I'll just turn you guys around and we can have a look at what we've what's, what's what I've received okay okay so these are the stuff that I've received from absolute koi and the backy showers have finally arrived and they look absolutely amazing as you can see could not wait and I had to put one of them up and I've been staring and staring at it they look absolutely stunning they do really solid built really well built and I've got the, the other one just sitting there which I haven't set up um, the backy showers they come with these metal things right over there on the edge and you just basically bolt them up and you start stacking them all up um, once I do this one, um, I'll make a little video of it. Very basic, straightforward stuff, how to get them up. So what I've got here, I've got um, two lids for both the backy showers. And they're both um, full bottom wear, as you can see. That one there. And also with that one here. And they're both four tiers. I'll put a link in the descriptions below for all this stuff that we've received. Everything's pretty much from Absolute Koi. Um, the only thing that ain't from Absolute Koi is the Varpi pump, which I got that off um, Amazon Prime. Um, and that's about it. So I'll just run exactly through you. We've got two inch pipe here, um, which is at three meter length, and both of them are six meters. Um, that little piece of connection is just spare from what I've got, which I'm going to need, need to use. Uh, I've got two boxes of Bacteria House BHM, which are 10 kg each, um, which is no way enough for these two big beasts. Um, I've already got 50 kg of it from my previous backy shower, and I've all got all that all stored away. So I've lost all my beneficial bacteria on that. So we're going to have to rebuild that. So all in total, I'm going to have 70, um, 70 kgs of BHM media for now. And then slowly, slowly, just um, buy a couple of boxes at a time. Um, as you know, the, these, these medias, they're not cheap. Um, the cheapest I've actually found them on is Absolute Koi for 140 quid. So like I said, I'm going to be putting a description on the links below so you guys can check everything out so we've got two momentaro backy showers and they're both one meters by 410 millimeters wide um, there's two different sizes to these um, the length is the same on both of them they're both one meters and the larger size are 610 millimeters um, I've gone for these ones because of where I'm going to be placing them. One of them is going to be going somewhere around here or possibly there. And the other one is going to be here or around there. 
and um, the space that I've got literally to sit them on from, from, from the slabs to the back of the fence is just under 500. Doggy, the doggy spooked the fishes out. So yeah, um, from the slabs to there, it's just under 500. So they'll sit perfectly onto the slabs. Um, coming back round, as you can see, the Momentaro backy showers, they've got these metal things here where you can um, screw them down or bolt them down, whatever you're gonna do with them onto your slabs so they don't fall over or anything. So that's nicely, solidly thought about. Um, the pump that I'm gonna be connecting um, the backy showers to is a Varpi pump, 30,000 litre pump and I've got two of those. This is a brand new one, as you can see. And the one that I used to have before feeding the old backy shower is sitting right over there, which is another VRP pump, 30,000 liters per hour. So that's all gonna come out from there now. So this is one object that I can remove from the pond, the pump, and the pipe running all the way down there. And as you see, going back up. So that's gonna be out of the pond. So that's great news. So less stuff for the fish to um, knock themselves on. Um, coming round here as well, I've got the skimmer placed over here, as you can see, which is an Oasi skimmer, uh, Oasi 50 skim. And that's gonna be getting removed out of the pond as well. So that's another object out of there. And as you can see, um, I've got the ultra skim skimmer from Absolute Koi. And this is actually a very big skimmer. Um, really nicely solid again. So good stuff. Comes with the lid, as you can see. And it's got a three inch um, return to wherever you're gonna be feeding um, the water, going through the skimmer. And then you've got a one and a half inch um, waste flow. So you can actually um, adjust that and you can trickle in some water and it will obviously run to waste as well. Um, the lid, the front lid of this um, skimmer, this is actually adjustable. It actually goes up and down. So gives you a little bit of play once you install it. Um, if you haven't got it set exactly to what you want. So any little minor little errors, you can actually pop this up and down so you can adjust the um, flow coming into the um, skimmer. I'm gonna be placing the skimmer exactly where it is here. I'll just actually pop it here for you. And the skimmer's gonna be going right over here, like so. From there. And what needs to be done is I'm gonna remove all these stones Put them all over to here, uh, cover it all up with tarpaulin so I don't get any of the um, stones all muddy and dirty. And um, I'm gonna be removing these slabs. I've got a footing underneath here, which the um, footing is around one and a half foot um, concrete base going all the way around my pond. I'm gonna be removing these slabs from here. Um, possibly ang um, gr grind out the um, concrete underneath so I can actually get the skimmer to sit in nice, nice and straight and flat. Um, we're gonna be digging out a channel here, right over here, like so, and running a two inch pressure pipe with a two inch swept elbow and going all the way down and back up again with a two inch um, swept elbow and I'm gonna be splitting it into two different returns from the skimmer. So it's gonna look something like this once the pipe's coming back up from the skimmer and one of these, I'm gonna have a ball valve over here, one over here to shut the water off and another ball valve over there to shut the water off to the backies if I ever need to maintain any of the pumps and stuff like that. Uh, these are the ball valves that I'm gonna be using. 
they actually look pretty cool with the pump all nice blue black and gray so these are the ones i'm going to be using they're two inch um ball valves so each one of those is going to be getting put there this is a, a pipe that i previously connected all up to run the returns back into the pond from the bio chamber which i've removed now so this is going to get cut nice and evenly pop pop put the ball valves on and then run the two uh, the two inch pipes and um, to the VIP pumps and straight up into the backy showers so once we've removed all of this gravel and we've started digging everything up here i need to get to the side of here as well this pipe here these are the two returns coming in from the um, bio chamber i'm going to be removing this completely and over there where we've done some schoolboy errors the way i've connected everything up that pipe down there is going to be let me just actually zoom in that pipe over there where we've got a four inch and then a two inch four inch to a two inch reducers because i actually run out of um, four inch pipe which i've got that in hand as well this is going to get disconnected four inch pipe is going to be running from there and where my finger is that four inch two inch four to a two inch reducer is going to get removed and i'm going to be returning the water back into the pond with a four inch um pipe going to possibly have to put a couple of plants around or try and disguise that as much as I can I'm going to try and have it in the corner of there as much as possible try and make it look as neat as possible so let's zoom back out um, so this pipe here is literally going to get all disconnected all taken off and I'm going to need to dig another channel running all the way possibly from about again where my finger is from the fence over there remove all this channel all down dig it all down dig it all down so i can get those pipes these pipes over here um running running straight down all the way from there from literally slightly lower than the top level of the, the pond water so where i've got the water topping up now the pipe the first the highest pipe possibly be around there and then the lower pipe will be around somewhere around there, running from the back of the pond, um, feeding to the backy showers. So that's all that needs to get done. I'm gonna try and make this into a two part video. I'm gonna be basically, not gonna make a video of me removing all this gravel and covering up with tarpaulin and digging all the channels out for where the pipe goes. I'm gonna have all that ready for you guys so once we start um, recording, I can show you guys how I'm going to install the skimmer in, uh, get all the pipe work all connected up, run it all from the back of the pond, and then um, I'll bring another part out when we're actually going to connect them all up. Or we'll see how it goes. If it can all get done in part one, we'll have it all done. If not, I'll just make a um, two-part video for yourselves and you can see how we get it all installed up and everything so that's about it pretty straightforward simple stuff um the only thing that i can see that's going to take a little while um is basically just digging out the channel and um getting all the concrete cut there so we can get the skimmer dropped in and once we've done all that connecting up all the pipes getting all the pipes down there and um putting the backies on is going to be well, I'm not going to say a five minute job because every time I say that it ends up being like three, four hours. So it's going to be a quick little job. So we'll get all that done as well. And hopefully everything will look nice and sweet. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's all that needs to get done. So coming back round to the pond, as you can see, the pond is filling up still. I've got about another 10-15% to go till I've actually done a complete 25% water change so we can sort this ammonia out. I've got all the blossoms all building up there on the corner. The skimmer's not working as it, sh as it should be because the levels of the water have dropped. 
So, but they're pretty good skimmers to be honest with you. Can't complain with them. They do what they're supposed to do. So, other than that, oh, see my fish flash there. To be honest with you, I don't think I've got rid of these flukes and they're absolutely annoying me. I've gave it his second dose with fluke hem and it just don't look, there's another flash there. It just don't seem like it's actually doing anything um, for the koi. It seems like um, the fish are immune to it now. Um, I watched another channel, uh, Budget Pond Keeping, and he's having the same issue as well. It's like his koi have got immune to the um, treatment, so he's had to change the treatment up, which is um, called Pro Lernix from Colombo. I've actually ordered some myself as well, so I'm going to be giving that a, a go, and hopefully we can um, get rid of these flukes be honest with you they're absolutely annoying so hopefully we'll have the ammonia levels down as well once we've done this water change if not and it's come creep down a little bit i'll give it a two um couple of days to go past and i'll just um do another water change and i'm pretty sure that's definitely going to sort everything out so thank you very much again for watching this video quick little update for yourselves on what we're going to be doing what the next projects are and i'll catch you guys soon so if you haven't subscribed to the channel remember to subscribe uh, if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you don't like the video you can give us a thumbs down um, remember to share and like the video as all the youtubers would say and also remember to hit your bell button so you can get notified when i upload all new videos um, and that's about it. So thank you very much again for watching the vids. All take care and all be safe.